Welcome to this video guys. In this video, I'll show you how you can push any project. In this case, I'm pushing this Django project to a remote Git repository. Okay, so first of all, what we need to understand is we need to initialize Git repository in this project and then we need to initialize a Git repository in GitHub or GitLab or any other remote management uh, system. So first what we'll do is we'll, we will initialize Git in this project. So what I'll do is open command prompt and come to this directory. A shortcut in Windows is just press here and type cmd and hit enter. Command prompt will open in this directory. As you can see, this is the directory that my project is in. If we are on Linux or Mac, just open terminal and come to this directory. Now to initialize a Git repository, you need to do git init. So as you can see, you'll see this message that says git initialized empty repository. And if I come here, you will see a hidden folder dot git. If your hidden folder visibility is off, you will not see this. What you can do is you can click on view here, click on show and click on hidden items and then hidden items will also be shown. Okay, so once we have Git repository initialized here, what you, need to do, what you need to do is go to GitHub or GitLab or any other remote Git repository system and click on new and let's call it test Django repo and I'll just click on create repository and our repository is created and it is empty for now as you can see there is no code here now come back to our project where we had our terminal and once the initialization is complete we need to add files to git tracking so that git can know which files to track which files to push and all so what we need to do is we need to add files to those so what i'll do is i'll, I'll add all these files so the shortcut for that is git add and dot that represents every file in this every file and every folder in this project or you can just give a name like db.sqlite3. If you do something like this, only this file will be tracked. So the changes done in this will be tracked by git. But I'll add everything by entering this and hit enter. So as you can see, all the files are being added to tracking by git. Once this is done, we need to commit changes. So only the changes that have been committed are pushed to GitHub. So what I mean by that is if I do git status right now, as you can see, all these things are green. That means that these are being tracked by git. Now let me show you what committing does so that you understand this better. If I do initial commit or whatever you want to write here, hit enter. And now if I check git status, this time, as you can see, it is saying on branch master, nothing to commit and working tree clean. Okay. Now, if I change something here, let's say I write something here, new text, save it, close this, and if I do git status again, as you can see, it's a, it is saying this file is changed. Now, if I push, the recent change will not be pushed, only the changes that have been committed will be pushed. So if I, I had just written new text here, this will not be pushed. So to push to remote repository, we need to add this URL to our local repository as the remote repository. So the command is git remote add or region and then the link dot git. Okay, so we need to have dot git at the end. Now hit enter. And now we can push and the command is git push origin master. So this is the origin that means that we are pushing to this remote and master is which branch we want to push to now hit enter and now our push has started as you can see we are pushing and it is complete so if i reload this now we have the changes here our project is here if i click on this as you can see, the new text that we had just written is not here because we had not committed that. So this is why we need committing. So now, if I do git status again, it is still showing this is not committed. Now I can, I can commit by doing this git commit am. This means add and commit. And the message will be new change. And now if I push again, and let's reload this this time, as you can see, new text is here. That's why we need to commit because only the committed changes are pushed. So this is how we can push changes to remote repository. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.